everyone, my name is Anushka and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a chest pond from zero using Blender. The first step I'm going to do is to import the reference image, the links are in the description below, and once it is imported into the viewport I'm going to reduce its opacity to 0.5. The next step that we have to do is that we have to create a cylinder by using Shift A Mesh Cylinder and then we're going to position it so that it matches the blueprints perimeter of the chest spawn. The method I'll be using to create this chest bone is to basically extrude from bottom to top slowly following the blueprints perimeter until I have the shape of the chest bone. I am doing this extrusion by tapping on the edit mode, pressing E to extrude and pressing S to scale. Once that I've finished extruding the chest bone to the top of the model, I'm now going to add a sphere while still being on edit mode. I'm going to resize it and place it on the top of the chest bone. If you want your model to become high poly, don't forget to add a subdivision surface modifier, increase its levels to 2 and add the corresponding loop cuts throughout the shape so that it can become cleaner and more defined. Once you're happy with all the loop cuts that you've added to the model, you can apply the modifier and then the model will become high poly. Be careful though because if you apply the modifier without being sure of it, then you can't return back to the low poly version that you've had before. Now I'm going to change the render engine to cycles and adjust some steps that I always apply to my final renders. And basically I'll continue to position the camera so that I have a good view of what I would like my render to look like at the end. Now regarding my materials, I'm first going to add the material to the checkerboard. I'm going to add a checker texture to the principal PSDF 
I'm going to adjust its colors and its scale and that's how I can easily create and texture a checkerboard. You can also add some noise to the checkerboard by adding a noise texture node, a color ramp and a bump node so that we can control the bumpiness of our checkerboard so that it has a little bit of detail and a little bit of variation. To my chest pound I also added a noise texture with a color ramp, I've added the color that I wish my chest pound to have and I'm going to adjust the metallic specular and roughness properties so that I get the look that I want. Regarding the lighting, because I want a fully lightened up scene, I'm going to add an area light, I'm going to play around with the power and I'm going to position it on top of my scene. If you want the scene to have a depth of field, you can activate it on the camera by activating the depth of field check and adjusting the f-stop so that it fits how much depth you want your camera to have. I'm going to render this first scene so that now we can play around with the post-processing effects on the composition tab in Blender. With the post-processing effects I'm going to add a denoise node so that we can reduce the noise a little bit on the render we obtained and then I'm going to add some configurations to it like some color correction and a glare node so that we can add a little bit more brightness and correct and color balance some of the colors that we have.
And finally, after we finish configuring all of the steps that we previously did, I'm going to render this image again and after it finishes, we obtain the final product of a chest spawn in Blender created from zero. And don't forget that if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, comment and share to watch more content like this about 3D art using Blender. I thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video. But wait, do you want to join my Patreon and gain access to extra content from my YouTube files and more? From $1 a month you'll get access to my Discord streams, to my YouTube files, Blender files, Photoshop files, and overall help me continue to support me and bring out more content like this to you every week. Thank you so much for your support.